right, look at this baby. This will move some dirt, huh? I know it. The plane parts could be 10, even 20 feet deep. This backhoe is gonna remove a bunch of topsoil so we can get closer to the artifact. I'd love KG and Ringy to find parts that the average person can look at and say, that's part of a German airplane. That's a weapon from something. That's part of a cockpit. That's what I'd like them to help us find. Hey, look, look. look right, right there. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. Aaron, you want to shut her down? We're going to go in. OK. <laughs> hey, take your shovel. Hey, that looks good. We get a giant pit, Doug, and we dive in. Over there, there's a bunch of it. Keep going. Look at all this stuff in this bank. Let's detect this a little bit. So I'm going along kind of right in the middle of the pit, about halfway up the wall. Oh, there's a chunk of stuff right here. A loom sticking out of the ground, KG. And I can already see the edge of something sticking out. So I start brushing the dirt away like a little badger. What do you got? I think I got a hubcap. This round thing starts to appear, and it's big, whatever it is. Another sheet of aluminum, though, but this one has a weird shape to it, so it could be airplane stuff. This is pretty cool because it's got black paint on it. Should be identifiable. And I flip it over, and the magic happens again. Oh, it's got another one of those tags on it. Oh, no way. No, no, no. Yes, it is. What? what? <laughs> it's German. It's written ah, in German. Yeah. Look, look at this. There's an awesome tag on this, and it's all written in German. Vereinigte <laughs> Deutsche Metallwerke. That means United German Metal Works. It's got the appliance number, Stuttgart, Frankfurt. That could be off the Focke-Wolf, baby. This is a cool find. Let's get it out of the hole, keep searching. Good yeah. job. Finding one piece that might have come from the Focke-Wolf in the parts pit means that other parts, like the engine, could be here, too. 